All right, folks, good morning. I uh, just wanted to do a quick uh, check here before I get started with my day. And I uh, thought I'd give you a snapshot, sort of a little quick overview of my uh, orchard. Uh, I have a very unusual or atypical orchard. Um, it's a, a very intense, intensive system based on the work of uh, Stefan Sobkoviak from uh, the Miracle Farm Permaculture Orchard up in uh, outside of Montreal, Canada. And then I'm also combining some techniques from uh, Angelo Eliades from uh, Deep Green Permaculture in Australia. But uh, you'll notice it's a pretty tight planting of, uh, of different trees. So and there are trees on the inside of the fence and there are trees on the outside of the fence. They're all fruit trees. It's a mix of apples and pears and um, plums and cherry and uh, they're interplanted with um, different sort of um, pollinator plants, uh, some that attract pollinators, uh, some that repel um, other pesky insects. So there's things like onions and garlic in there. We tried this last year. Um, and uh, there's even a few caneberry, um, cane fruiting plants in there. There's some raspberry in there. Uh, I've been adding more stone crops or sedums and uh, they're nitrogen fixing plants uh, like the scotch broom that you see here. This is basically a small shrub that I just chop and drop when it gets big enough. Um, it's been chopped several times. Hopefully I can get a, get a little closer. I'll show you a picture. And uh, there's comfrey uh, in several different spots and I'm going to add more comfrey to several different spots. And um, mint has grown really well here. So I think I'm gonna add more mint because my biggest problem this year has been maintaining my ground cover. And I keep adding lots and lots of clover, but as you can see, uh, it keeps getting overtaken every year by this uh, wire grass um, that produces these long wiry runners that, uh, that just invade. Um, and so I need to come up with a, a, a much better solution um, for finally overtaking it. So one of my projects here this fall, which today's the first day of fall, will be to um, re-mulch this bed. And I'm gonna do that by putting cardboard down. Uh, well, I'm actually gonna put down manure. So either horse manure or rabbit manure. I have a few friends who are gonna give me, uh, who have already given me some and are about to give me some more. Um, so I've already got that going on here. And then underneath, uh, then over top of, sorry, the manure, I put cardboard. And then over top of the cardboard will go lots and lots of straw and wood chips until I've got this all covered maybe seven or eight inches. Um, all of these uh, herbaceous plants that you see here will go dormant and die back um, for the most part uh, over the course of winter and fall. Uh, we have a pretty wet fall here, so uh, that'll help everything continue to break down and just make this bed a lot better. And then uh, for next year, I'm already working on um, adding some different plants in here. I'm gonna move away from some of the little herbs that I've tried to get established and go with some tried and true herbs. So I may put in more thyme. Uh, I'm definitely going to add more comfrey. Uh, the lilies can stay. Um, they look aw sorry. The irises can stay. They look awesome. And uh, I'm going to be adding rhubarb and some mustards, um, which tend to do pretty well here. So those will all be added. Let me show you one quick shot of the outer orchard, and uh, and then that'll be it for today. And I'll get started working. So here's a quick shot of uh, the outer orchard and the plant mix up is a little different out here. It's still fruit trees, pears, peaches, plums, um, apples are the main tree. There's even a cherry out here and uh, there's some grape that's uh, already being established and some others that are coming uh, as well as a hazelnut tree um, or bush because um, I'd like to get more nuts um, up here added. But uh, the plant mix is a little different. Um, there's a coarse comfrey out here and um, more sedums or stone crop as you see there. Uh, there's also gooseberry. Um, I've got uh, three different kinds of gooseberry out here. Um, I might add some currants since this is the north side of the orchard. Um, and uh, some of the different plants there you see here is cardoon. And cardoon is a relative of the uh, artichoke but uh, it's more grown for the big ribs instead of the flowers. You kind of blanch or steam those ribs. It also produces these gorgeous flower heads. Uh, they're, they're purple. They look like giant thistles, but uh, they're not uh, too spiky. 
um, and they're just absolutely awesome. These plants have been here, the ones on the ends, uh, for two years now, and uh, they keep coming back, so I really like them, but mostly I use them to chop and drop, just like the comfrey. Uh, when it gets big enough, I chop it all down to kind of add mulch to the area and build biomass. This area was uh, pretty rough when we started, um, so we've been doing a lot of remediation techniques through plantings. Um, and there's also something different in here. There are nitrogen fixing trees. This is a honey locust. It's a thornless variety. Um, at least it's supposed to be. Um, some of them, there are four of them out here, actually have a few small thorns. Uh, I'm still doing research on that. I have different stories I'm getting. Some say they're precocious and they'll grow out of it. Uh, some say they're typically thornless when young and they grow into their thorns. So anyhow, we'll see. I've talked to the nursery about it a couple times. And then all the way up here on the end, very quickly, before we wrap this up, another cardoon. This is probably my best tree. This is a multi-graft apple. But uh, getting established out here is uh, another um, pet waste composting project with um, more uh, Japanese winter hardy bananas. Um, when the dogs do their business in the yard, we toss it over the fence here and let the bananas and the Jerusalem artichokes uh, take care of it all. We try to keep uh, as much waste out of the waste stream as we can. So anyhow, there's a short snapshot of the uh, inner and outer orchard. And I uh, hope you like it. And there will be more later. Happy first day of fall.